Hello everyone, my name is Yue Pan, and welcome to my talk about our work, Worksfield, Non-Projective Sign Distance Fields for Online Planning and 3D Reconstruction. Fully autonomous robots need to create accurate map online for 3D reconstruction and path planning. These robots can be used for tasks like tunnel exploration and infrastructure inspection. The goal of this research is to improve the mapping system for better reconstruction and more reliable path planning. To this end, we need to answer the following questions. Which map representation shall we use? And how can we build and update such kind of map? As for the first question, we use the volumetric map which discretizes the 3D space into voxels. Depending on what is stored in each voxel, we have different type of maps. Occupancy map stores the occupancy probability, while Euclidean sign distance field, ESDF, stores the Euclidean distance to the closest surface. Unfortunately, ESDF is not possible to be built directly from sparse observations. The workaround is to use the easy-to-integrate truncated sign distance field, TSDF, as an approximation. TSDF is enough for surface 3D reconstruction, but for trajectory optimization-based path planning, we need to go a step further to ESDF. We proceed now to briefly explain our approach works field. The input to the system is the 3D measurement and the robot's pose. Works field firstly builds a non-projective TSDF map from the inputs and then reconstructs the 3D mesh from the TSDF map using the matching cubes algorithm. Our main improvement over the previous method is the non-projective TSDF integrator. Previous methods use the projective TSDF integration, which is actually problematic. As shown in this figure, the robot takes an observation through the voxel V and hits the surface at P1. The non-projective TS distance to the surface should be D, but the voxel V actually takes the projective distance psi as its sine distance value. Even by taking the weighted mean of the projective distance from different perspectives, the integrated value is still an overestimation. To solve this issue, we propose to store an additional sign distance gradient g in each voxel. The gradient can be integrated from the surface normal shown in blue from different perspectives as a normalized weighted mean. Certain surface normal can be estimated from the range image by cross product efficiently. With the integrated gradient g and the surface normal n, we can conduct the projective distance correction. For the more general surface shown in this figure, we can use the law of science to calculate the non-projective distance d from the projected one, psi. Then we integrate the non-projective TSDF by taking the weighted mean. Once we get the accurate TSDF, a ESDF map for path planning can be built through a graph search-based value propagation. We proceed to show the improvement of our ESDF integrator over the previous methods. Suppose we want to calculate the ESDF value of the green voxel. The black curve represents the surface and the gray voxels are occupied. When calculating the ESDF value, previous methods such as vox blocks propagate the value from the surface and take the sum of a quasi-Euclidean polyline based on the overestimated projective TSDF. Fiesta, on the other hand, firstly find the green voxel's closest occupied voxel by graph search and then take the true Euclidean distance between the voxel centers. Similarly, Vox field firstly finds closest occupied voxel, and then use the sign distance value and gradient stored in it, and shown as the red arrow here, to find out the position of the closest surface, point in orange, and take the blue line's distance as the refined result, which would be the most accurate estimation among these methods. To evaluate our method, we use both real-world and synthetic data collected by both RGBD camera and LiDAR. Now we take the flat dataset as an example to show our results. As you can see in this video regarding the 3D reconstruction, Vox blocks is on the left and our Vox field is on the right. Our Vox field can reconstruct the flat scene more completely because the overestimated projective TSDF in Vox blocks would lead to more truncated voxels. Here, I show more quantitative results for TSDF mapping. In the left figure, the horizontal axis represents voxel size. We run separate experiments for varying voxel size. The vertical axis represents the TSDF arrow. 
Our works field is in blue and the baseline works blocks is in orange. Our works field achieves lower TSD value consistently thanks to the projective distance correction. In the red figure, our works field achieves improvement on the reconstruction coverage, which can also be noticed from the previous video. Next, we evaluate works field's ESD mapping module. The vertical axis represents the ESD value. By avoiding the polyline and discolorization error, our works field shown in blue achieves the best ESD mapping accuracy. Meanwhile, as you can see in the red figure, works field has the fastest ESD updating speed among the compared methods. Similar results can be also seen on the other three datasets. Additionally, we validate works field's ESD mapping in a real-world experiment on board a drone. The drone navigates safely from the red dot to the red star, and all the computations are conducted by the drone itself. For applications, we claim that one can use works field as the new mapping backbone and replace works blocks with works field in high-level mapping systems such as a multi-resolution panoptic mapping system. As you can see in this video, each color represents the panoptic submap label containing the instance level semantic information. Our works field pan map achieves better reconstruction quality and coverage than the original pan map using Vox blocks as its mapping backbone. To sum up, in this work, we propose a novel volumetric mapping backbone named Vox field. Our method achieves better TSDF mapping accuracy and the reconstruction coverage, and meanwhile, has the better TSD ESDF mapping accuracy and the efficiency. We also have released the source code of our entire pipeline so that you can use Works field in your own project. Thank you very much for your attention.